friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Tammy and today I have a video for the ladies. So if you're a man, go ahead and go over to one of my other videos, maybe a video on prepping, uh, farming, homesteading, a gun video, maybe something about the Peterbilt, anything, but you don't want to watch this one. So, ladies, today I'm going to be talking to you about my female urination device. I call it a man beer. I purchased mine on Amazon. It was about 98 cents a piece, I believe. They had different ones on there. They had ones with cases. I didn't get the case. Most of the reviews I read said the case was really nothing more than a plastic bag, so I didn't figure I needed that. Also, I was thinking about getting a sunglasses case because this top, this plastic is fairly thin. So I could actually fold it over and fit that into a sunglass case. And then if someone did see it, it just looks like a sunglass case, no big deal. So, this is what it looks like. I have a Walmart bag I keep mine in. And then I also make sure I always have a roll of paper towels around. If I'm in the truck, I can clean it out with a wet one or paper towel, wipe it off, clean it up, and put it back in the bag. Because obviously you want to make sure you clean it after every time you use it is when you're going to be restoring it in a bag or something. Um, I said I bought mine on Amazon for a dollar each and I love mine. Um, it makes it so much easier if you have to go to a public restroom and we have all used public restrooms. Sometimes they're not so clean. I know the staff at places will clean them and all it takes is one person to go in there and mess up the bathroom. So this will help eliminate that. I am not coordinated enough, and apparently a lot of other people aren't either because I see how they leave the bathroom after they try to do it. I know some people try and squat over the toilets and use the bathroom, and they pee all over the seats and everywhere else, and you know, sometimes bathrooms you go in are just nasty. If you have the option, you can maybe go on down the road or go to a different place and use a different bathroom. If you have to go fairly bad or there's nowhere else for you to go, what are you going to do? Now, even if you use some toilet paper and wipe it off, it's still there. It's still gross. So, this gives you the option, but you don't have to sit on it. Uh, also, if you're out in the boonies, some people can squat and pee okay. Other people need a little help, especially ladies. Otherwise, they might get it on their britches more than they should. So, this right here will help us with that. So, I drive a truck. I like to sheep to sleep at my receivers or shippers when possible. There may not always be a place to use a restroom where I park to sleep for the night. Actually, even some parking areas along the interstate does, don't have restroom facilities. So what are you going to do if you need to use a restroom? Well, I don't exactly want to get out of the truck and go pop a squat somewhere because there's going to be other people. You know, if you're in the city, there's people walking around. If you're in a truck stop or an area where trucks park, there's other drivers in and out of there. So, I don't want to go squat by my tire and just hope that no one sees me over there. So, I can use this in the truck with a bottle of some sort. When I'm done, I can just put the lid on the bottle. When I go to take a shower later that day or the next day, I can take it in with me, dump it out in the toilet, flush it, and throw, throw my bottle away. And it's simple as that. I don't have to get out. I don't have to look for a bathroom. And I don't have to put myself in danger by going outside of the truck and basically taking my britches off to go to the bathroom in the middle of nowhere. So, like I said, I definitely recommend this. It's cheap little thing. No big deal. We all probably waste more money than that in a week anyway on junk. Uh, I would recommend trying it before you just stand up and use it. I read some things online about, oh, well, I tried it and I stood up in front of the toilet and I made a mess. Well, you'll probably want to go ahead and try it in the shower. I don't use mine standing straight up. You might need a little bit of an angle or something. But, you know, try it out in the shower. Use it a few times. I know I read some uh, posts on Facebook where there were some ladies putting supply kits together in their cars because last year they had gotten stuck in the ice storm in Georgia and the Carolinas, I believe. And... I mean, people were leaving their cars and walking to like Lowe's and the Home Depot and stuff and sleeping there and they were letting them in there to sleep because there wasn't anywhere for them to go and people were putting together kits for their cars and looking for something 
to use the restroom in their cars. And one lady was talking about an ice cream bucket. Well, that would be okay, but this will help you where if you just, all you have is a water bottle with you and you have this, you can also pee in a water bottle because the little nozzle on the end will fit in the water bottle. So, um, again, I highly recommend it for car kits, truck kits, home, you know, anywhere that you might need to use it, highly recommend it. So, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below and, uh, nothing else, then I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.